For today's lesson, I've invited a special guest speaker. Let's turn it over to him. Hey, welcome back to Mastering Kinemaster, coming to you from an entirely different perspective in nature and perspective on the wall. That's because we're going to learn how to use the new perspective tools that are available for download in the Kinemaster store, and they will be available in your effects menu. I'm going to show you how to use them because on first glance, it may not be so understandable, but don't worry about it. That's why I'm here to help you out. Remember, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe, and then to find out how to make your own cool perspectives and some different ideas, follow me on the other side. See you over there. Just letting you know, this is an advanced tutorial. You should understand terms, layers, and clips and how I use them. You should understand chroma keying, how it works in KineMaster, and basic timeline management. If you don't understand these, I have tutorials on all of them. So now we're going to download these new effects from the KineMaster Asset Store. Transform and Skew, they are similar. We're going to be working with Transform today, so go ahead and download that. First, I'm going to show you an incorrect sample project. Why would I do that? Because this is the way I would think I set it up when I first tried to do it. And so I've got the little video that I want to make perspective on sitting above the background layer that has the KineMaster graphics on it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add the effect layer because the new perspective tools are in effect. So I'm going to go ahead and go into transform and I'm going to select this perspective. I check the box and effect tools come with a movable bounding box that defines the area where the effect is impacting. So I'm going to roughly shape this now because you're going to see how it is not correct at this point. So with this, and you'll use this later, is we go into the settings and it gives you the ability to change some stuff. And I'm going to do this and oh, wow, what's going on? What's going on is that effect layers in KineMaster impact everything underneath them, including the background. And so we're not getting what we wanted to, which was just my little video video stretching, we're getting this area with this empty cutout area and black. And so I'm going to show you how to properly use it next. So in order to get the desired result of having the effect only applied to this mini television, we create a project with this mini television and a chroma key behind it. So I've set up the three layers with the television, with my video, and a chroma key layer. I've selected this pink color because KineMaster allows you to select whatever color you want for your chroma key, and I have a lot of green in my content, so I'm not using the traditional green screen. So I just went ahead and set this color to 100% red and 100% percent blue, which is going to be easy to analyze and use in the next step. And now we go ahead and add our effect layer here. We go in here and we find transform and perspective one is the easiest one to use and explain. Uh, the other ones are similar. You can play with them, but I'm going to show you with just perspective one. So we're going to go ahead and put the bounding box in there. And again, the settings menu has the place where you change the dimensions of this. So let's go ahead and look right off the bat by changing one of these things. And you'll see, ah, the black is still there, but that's super easy to take care of. So this menu scrolls over here and I want to tell you that you actually want to scroll this by touching the left hand side of the menu area because if you touch the right hand side you'll adjust those sliders. So make sure you can't see my thumb but it is touching the left hand side. So you'll notice that there is background color and this is why setting this to an easy to reclaim number works and when I check that then oh that's great so we'll be able to use the chroma key to easily chroma key out that solid background color that's there and now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the top and I'm going to move it back in the other direction and you'll see that now we have the ability to actually move this in perspective and keep it so that it will be able to be chroma keyed out later. I'm not going to go into too much detail into every one of these menus. A couple of things is that they use X and Y, slope X, slope Y, extent X, extent Y. Remember that X is horizontal and Y is vertical related to something. I want to show you that 
almost all of these will, if you push them too far, they'll send your content outside of the area where there is this kind of box that we don't see, but we don't want to go past that. However, there are other ones in all of the tools that help so you can avoid that. In this one, it is the extent, which is another word for size. So it makes it more narrow and small. And then that gives you the ability to make it more perspective and you can play with the perspective more if you shrink the extent. I think in some of the other ones it actually is called size. In addition, position will just move it sliding back and forth across, and so if you've made it more narrow on this side, then you can use position to compensate for the fact that it gives you more room inside of the box to use with. Aside from that, I'm not gonna, again, show too much. It's really about setting the perspective and playing around with these slopes and getting it to match in the composition that you have the way that it actually will look like it fits into your scene that you have available to you. Once you have those all set, then you stretch your effect out to the far end of your composition. You'd hit check and you'd go ahead and then you would go to export this. In this case, I export on full quality anytime that I'm reusing my content inside of another KineMaster movie. I export on full quality, uh, not like my export settings for uh, use on the web because you get the highest quality to do this. We export this and then we're going to bring it into our other project. And the last step here, back to the original project, we're going to import the layer with our pink in it, and we're going to go ahead, turn the chroma key on, KineMaster finds it for us, go ahead and scale it up or position it wherever you want, and this is the look that I was really going for, is having the perspective television sitting on top of the moving background. I think for myself that I would always use the tool this way, and I hope that you find this useful as well. I didn't go over all of the other options for this tool because there's so many, but that's for you to go and explore. Just the methodology I think is really important. So you get it looking with this separated perspective thing. Hopefully you guys can do something really cool with it on your own. Okay, I hope that was helpful with these new and interesting tools. Remember, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas, suggestions, or thoughts for future tutorials, please put them in the comments below. I always get back to people, and now it's your turn to get out there and do something awesome and creative with KineMaster, the best mobile video platform for your phones and devices. I'll see you the next time. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Can the master.